right. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for joining us again. It's Gold Getters. My name is John Restino with my co-host, John Fidel. How's it going, John? Good, John. Another Friday night. Yeah. Beautiful Lockport. Yep. Great Gorillas Inc. Studios. Can't beat the studios now. No, not at all. No. It's a state of, state of the art. Yep. Like, no. I love being here. And, of course, Wade is back doing what he does, and he'll be chiming in whenever he feels like it. And Robin is sharing and will also be a part of the telecast here shortly um, when she's done doing her work. John, how was today for you? All right? Not bad. Yeah. Good week? Uh, good week, except for the little dampness today. So Yeah, it's got chilly today. Yeah. Jeez. I, doing yeah. all right. Doing all right? Dog all right? Oh, yeah. yeah Dog's no, good. good. That's good. Yeah, that's it's pretty, uh, pretty gloomy today, mm-hmm. you know? But uh, that's what's going to happen here in western New York, I guess. Oh, yeah. We've got a lot of that. I, you know, I was looking, and it's um, the, the highest temperature we get for the next seven days is like 58. Yeah, it's, 42. that's typical this it's, time of year. Yeah, so. no doubt about it. So I think what I want to start with, John, is um, let's talk about the Sabres. Sure. You know, I'm kind of tired of them, mm-hmm. but now at least it's a little different now. Yeah. You know, than it was a couple weeks ago when we were talking about they're, them. Uh, they're actually playing like a team. Right. The way they were supposed to be in the beginning of the year. Yeah. And uh, they're much improved. We well, see, we're, and this is the last game against the Capitals that they won uh, 5-2? Mm-hmm. They, they beat them? Yeah. Last so, night. Last night. Capitals uniforms are weird, aren't yeah. they? Those uh, retro, whatever they're doing, yeah, that they're, W on them? Yeah, they're pretty neat. Yeah. But anyways... The Sabres win that game five to two, and um, so Harski gets his first win in five years. Right, that's great. That, mm-hmm. I love that kind of story. You got a lot, right? I mean, that's mm-hmm. a great story. Mm-hmm. That, that's like when we were talking about that one time. I can't remember his name. The goalie for the Kings yeah. getting that first win. Um, and for the Sabres, I know um, Cousins scored. I saw Olafson scored. Yeah. Nice shot by Olafson. Very nice shot. You know, um, I believe even uh, I think. But that Bjork guy had a couple yeah, assists. Yeah, he, he had some nice plays in there. Uh, middle stat looked good. He scored. Yeah. yeah, he scored. He's starting to come into his own. Right. And I yeah. knew I knew he would. It's, I think that's the shot right there from yeah. Olafson. Oh no, that might be middle stat number middle thirty-seven. Stat, yeah. yeah, scoring the goal. So I mean, and I know we didn't. My my clip isn't all the way through to I five. Mean, the average two, age but. on the team is twenty-six years of age. So they they got a, they still got a young squad. And yeah, I'm just saying they're they're, they're a year or two away. I'm gonna give them three to five years before they make a they make the playoffs yeah. again. Three years, five. Uh, I'm gonna say three years. Three so. years. Well, let's think about it now. They, they. Um, I mean, all right. Here's the guys on that team. Do you tell me, Rist, Risto Linen? He's yeah. got to stay oh, unless yeah. he wants to go. If he refu- but he he looks like he's doing all right. Yeah, he, he look he he's looking happy. Now yeah, he he's is. able to play his own game. Right. Yeah. Actually, it, everybody. Well, they, see now that's the thing that. Let, let me go through the... Then I want to bring up that to you. Um, Darlene, obviously, he's a young guy. He was drafted yes, he's high. He's only 20 years he's old. He's good. He's a good hockey player. He's going to be a very good hockey player. Middle stat, too. We all like Cousins. Yes. He's good. He, Future captain. I think you're right. Yeah. Opinion, the yeah. day that he fought in that Rangers game, yes. I think it was, after they were getting... You know, that said a lot. Yeah. You know, uh, Olafson looks good. Um... You know, I can't say the guy's name. Asplund? As- Asplund? A- Asplund. Asplund. Mm-hmm. You know, he's a Swede, yeah. and he's only 20, I yeah, think. he's only 20, and so, he was in Rochester yeah. most of the year, right. but he's, start, he's coming on, too. And now you're going to have Skinner. There's no way around having Skinner. He's got to stay. for uh, Whether he's good or bad, he's not going nowhere. He's starting to come out of it, his slump that he was in. He's what this? Yeah. Is he? Yeah. What well, this, he's, on, he's on the first line now, so... What the Sabres need to do with him someday, you watch. He's going to get the treatment where you get rid of him because you can save money on the cap. You can even send him to the minors or something. You know what I mean? Because at some point, he's going to be a, a, like an albatross to them. He's going to be an anchor that's going to cause an issue because yeah. of the money he makes and the, the little output. So after that, you're going to have uh, Colin Miller. Colin Miller. He, Good uh, defenseman. Yes, he, just, he scored the other night. Tough, too, though. He's got a hell of a slap shot, yeah. too. And he's tough. He's a tough yeah. guy. You need that. Yeah. You need the toughness. And, um, and of course, Eichel. He's not Eichel. going anywhere. I don't he, think he's going no, anywhere. No, he's not going nowhere. I think he's here for the long long term. Yeah, I don't think Buffalo's getting Too much money involved. Yes, yeah. he's going ha- to play here unless he would make such a deal. And we're not even saying he would. We don't really know him. Mm-hmm. You know, no one really does. We don't know if he really is a coach killer or if he really is. We don't know. Mm-hmm. You know? Only guys knows? in the locker room yeah. know. 
And uh, we haven't heard, you know who you'd probably hear that from, and I don't think we have, is ex-coaches. I've yet to yeah. hear, even I never heard Bilesma say anything or, Really, well, I don't maybe, recall. Maybe Housley. when guys move on, they they move on, and yeah. I think he's coaching somewhere, if I'm not mistaken, Detroit. Bilesma? Yeah. Yeah, and is Housley anywhere? Is he an assistant anywhere? Housley's in Arizona. Oh, is he? Yeah. Now, remember, if you want to join us, um, the Facebook message board is where you can give us comments, questions, uh, you know, whatever you want to tell us. Robin will be monitoring that when she's done doing what she's doing. Um, but just don't don't forget, that's the uh, place to send us any questions or comments. Um, so with the Sabres, they have no goaltending. We, we both agree. You agree. There's no goalie on that team. No, I, I think they're they're still looking to see who, who could be the goalie there. Yeah, yeah but you, they got to go outside. Yeah. You think of the organization to get that they got to get a guy that's going to play 40, 50 games yeah. a year or so. You know who's available out there? It's a good name, uh, Holtby. It's yeah. a, he would be a nice addition, I think. To I think you were looking at him last year when he was they? a free agent, and he he almost came here, but I don't know something happened there. Right. So because they, they I, I I firmly believe, and I think we were talking about this off air. The goalie is the quarterback. He's the starting pitcher. The team, he's yeah. the thing. You really, I mean, we we know that. Yes, is there something you got? I was just gonna ask out of curiosity, why didn't they show interest in Bernier. I'll answer it. Now you go ahead, John. Sure. But I'll answer that too for you. I just think there, there was a cap space, uh, but I do like him a lot. I always liked him. And yeah. Who knows? Maybe next year he could be a possibility for the, for the Sabers down. Yeah, Down the road, you I should guess. know the answer asking me that question, <laughs> being that he was with the Leafs. But the other thing about him is he's old, injury yeah. prone. Yeah. Why would they want to even mess with him? I'm talking for me, like that would be good for a team going to the playoffs. You get right. it? Like, why would yeah, you you're bring him in? He's going to get shelled. Yeah, you know, looking mm-hmm. at three years yeah. down the road, he'd probably be fifty, be, yeah, forty, yeah, whatever. he'd be forty. But I know, like. They need that stability, and I don't know how Sabre fans don't know that when they had Hasek and they had Miller. You know, that's uh, when you have Hasek and you have Miller, I mean, that's what held that those teams together. I think they probably, in a way, have just taken it for granted yeah. because it, the goal well, timing's always been so right. good with the two of them. Well, the Maple Leafs, let's go with them. It was it was Curtis jo- you had Belfort, Joseph Potvan even. Right. They haven't had anyone since. Right. And they've and, and with as much talent as that team has, what's going to happen here possibly with all the talent they have, Robin? Tons of talent. The best defense they've had probably since 93 as far as defensemen, they have no goalie right now. Right. Yeah, we, so we got a goalie down in Rochester, uh, UPL. Oh yeah. And uh He's just not ready yet. They're saying next year, the year after. They need a veteran, I think. Yeah, you know, he's only twenty. So. Yes. those guys aren't ready. That's like some of these. Remember guys- how so stacked they were that they had Buran on the Amherst? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they were so yeah. stacked that goalie. At one point. Yeah, oh, but they were unbelievable. They had, they had one of the best goalie coaches yeah. around, Mitch Corn. Mitch Corn. Yeah, and he's with Wash. He's been with Washington for years, and that's why they're so good. Yeah. Oh yeah, because I mean, think about those days with with. Yeah, you had Baron Miller and, and, and Hasek. Well, who was it? Hasek was. See, I always get it. Miller out of the lockout of 04. It was Miller, right? No five. Yeah. You know, that's their. And Baron. Mm-hmm. And then, because Baron fights. I remember when he fights Ray Emery. Yeah. Remember in that brawl? Yes. And, uh, and then, then Ray Emery held his own with Peters. Oh, yeah. Which was really something else. That, that was a crazy thing. Yeah. But, you know, no, Wade's right. I mean, they've always had the goaltending, and that's why I'm surprised when I hear Sabres fans act as though goaltending doesn't matter. It matters. It matters. I don't Big care time. what you say. Goal, yeah. Goaltending is the key to your team. Yeah. No, there's there's no doubt. And goaltending, defense, then your forwards. That's what you worry about last. So. Here's my thing with the Sabres team, and I, you know this, but this is just how I feel. And you can tell me if I'm – if it, really, tell me if I'm wrong out there or anybody puts in a message, Robin, Wade. If you – this team right now, it's like – let me put it into football terms. When a team is um, – uh, let's say they're, they've lost uh, – they're 1-3 they're in three coming out of the first four games. They, and they're sitting there and, um, you know – they're uh, they're four and eight. Okay, now they start playing good. Yeah. There's no re- there's no pressure. 
it's all fun and games now. I mean, we don't worry about the defense, and yeah. we're not worrying about anything. I mean, because now it's just fun and it's pond hockey. Oh yeah, it's everybody. Oh, moves, you know, they're, yeah. they're all relaxed now. There's like you say, they're they're just playing now. There's and, like doing and that, their own thing, and that won't happen in a regular seat. In a no. you know, when you first of all, I, I can't imagine the coach that's there after watching the Sabres games right now, and they are entertaining at least. Mm-hmm. Would what would be wanting that to continue you know what i mean in the regular you yeah, know no i mean because you, you you just can't um he, he's got them motivated though and they're they are they're more better positioned on the ice than they right? were before yeah so. i just think that they're not they, as you said these get you're, you're bringing 20 years old 20 years this guy's 21 yeah. this guy's but they got to be amherst these guys yeah so, most of them are, right are, are but, from rochester yeah. so. and that and they're going to be back they got to get themselves some Real and I mean, established NHL yeah. players. You got to at least have a line, two lines maybe of established NHL guys, yeah. and um, and I think that's how they make it back to the playoffs. And um, I would I would even go as far as saying three lines. That would be great. And a yeah. fourth line of young kids. Of young so. kids, yeah, definitely. That would be that. Yeah, that'd be mm-hmm. great. Now, does Eichel? Last question. Then we'll move on to the winners and losers of the draft. Um, Eichel plays wing and center, or only center. He plays both. Does he play yeah, both? Yeah, he switches up on the power play. Right. So. Well, you know, I, I, if you, a Sabres fans should at least be able to enjoy games now. Mm-hmm. At least they're exciting yeah. and there's something to watch. So that's always, that's a good thing. Um, but I think people ought to really put the brakes on a little bit on the things I've read. Yeah. I don't think this is not the team you want to go into next year with, you know, opening no, night. No. Because it just won't. you got to add a few wrinkles there. Yeah. I mean, you got to. You gotta get, get a some. few few guys, you know, a few veterans from other teams that are winning right now. So, Akposo's gone because this is his last year. Yeah. Why would he come back? You wouldn't. I don't even see why they want him. Yeah. So he just goes. I think he retires. I think this could be it for this him. Could be it. Yeah, yeah. Because he's he's had issues yeah. injury wise yeah. and stuff. Yeah, so. neck problems himself. So and he was sick too, wasn't mm-hmm. he? A little bit. All right, let's go on to. I almost. I think I said the NHL draft. No, it's the NHL free agency, um, trade deadline, winners and losers. You got any winners? I got them. You know who I think? Tampa was a winner yes. by getting Savard, the defenseman. Mm-hmm. And the biggest thing is, and this isn't even anything for them, Kucherov will be back for the playoffs. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's you couldn't adding him to that team with that goaltending, they got to be the favorite yeah. to win the Stanley Cup again. What do you think? I agree, and I think one of the losers in the trade deadline was Buffalo because yeah. they didn't get a lot in return for like Taylor Hall. Yeah, no, it was. It I mean, was they low. got Borky, and he's going to be a good one for him. And, what is uh, it? Second round. Second round pick and a second player. Second round pick and so a they, player. Uh, did worse than bad. Yeah, yeah, they didn't do well. There was like, I, I mean, I think the uh, Red Wings got more for Anthony Mantha mm-hmm. than the Sabers got for Taylor Hall. Now Anthony Mantha's good too, yeah. but not not Taylor Hall. Taylor Hall should got a first. Should have got a first. At least. Now I, I once again, and I hate to be, but I don't know what Bjork's going to be. I can't tell. I don't know what the hell this guy's going to do. I mean, we don't know. He may not be on the team next year. He yeah. could be. I'd probably be an Amherst. Yeah. You know, because he's he's only twenty one. Yeah. I. I so. These guys aren't. That's what I mean. The Sabers have so much to do, and I hope Kevin Adams. If maybe Kevin, maybe if Kevin Adams is left to his own, yeah. he'll do fine. I don't know how much the Pagulas medal in this team. I feel like sometimes Mrs. Pagula has more to do with hockey than football. Yes. And. um which is weird because Mr. Pagula cried on the ice that mm-hmm. time uh, over the French Connection. French Connection, yeah. And, uh, but, you know, I don't know what's going on. But, it, all right, so, yes, definitely, <laughs> de- <laughs> <laughs> definitely the Sabres were a loser. You said it before I could use Sabres, and, and let me uh, say something first. Just because you win or lose on, on trade deadline day means nothing. Because you could win on trade deadline yeah. day and get knocked out in the yeah. first round real easy. Oh, yeah. We've seen that many times. Um, so that means nothing, and losing means nothing on yeah. that day. Um, I thought the Red Wings were a winner. They traded Anthony Mantha, and they got Jacob Verana, who's just like Mantha, same size. They got Richard Panic, who I remember mm. from the Leafs, a first and a second. Yeah. So, so they did a they did a they great did job. Okay. Yeah, Mantha. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I should I got to point yeah, that out like, to my uh, guy. Yeah, there's Mantha. There he is. Um, teams like Detroit and uh, Ottawa could be up and coming in the next couple years. Yeah, Ottawa's got a good core of young guys. Yeah. Mantha's six foot six. Six six, yeah. He's just he's you know, 
I mean, I, and, and Mantha, but I'm going to say Verana is the same guy. Uh, yeah. I mean, so the Red Wings and, and Iserman, and, mm-hmm. and not Iserman, who's it over there? Iserman's in Tampa. Oh, no, he went back to Detroit, he didn't went he? Back. he? Yeah. Went, yeah, he's Do, back. Doing a great job over there. You get all that. And uh, Mantha's going to be happy. Yeah. I think Mantha's a winner. I think he won on trade deadline mm-hmm. from going from the Red Wings to a Stanley Cup contender. Sure. Where he's got guys that he doesn't have to be the focal point. Mm-hmm. You know, you got Ovechkin, you got, uh, geez, ba- uh, Backstrom and Oshie. Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, you know? I mean, you can't ask for any more to be on a team like that. I mean. So he won. He's a winner himself. Mm-hmm. Uh, Anthony Mantha wins. And, um, you know, so he can just be himself and doesn't have to carry the load like the Red Wings were expecting. The Maple Leafs win, and the biggest win for them is Nick Foligno without having to lose anyone off oh, the yeah, team. Oh, yeah, of course. So uh, that's a big one. He can't play because he's in quarantine because he's going from the U.S. to Canada. Yeah. But, for example, we were just talking earlier about goaltending. The Maple Leafs team, you got the leading goal scorer in Matthews. you got a top assist guy in Marner. you got you you're going to have Tavares, Tavares with yeah. Nylander and Foligno, yeah. Hyman, you got all these other things. You got all the pieces you could want. And right now, Anderson's hurt. And Jack Campbell last night gave up three goals on seven shots. Yeah. And uh, big save Dave there, Riddick. He came in and played well. You know, the guy, they, they got him on trade uh, mm-hmm. on trade deadline day from Calgary. And um, well, he played good. I mean, but you don't want to go in the playoffs with those guys. No. You know? You saw their, yeah. And that's my point with Sabre fans. you got to have a goalie. Yeah. Those two guys, they're not bad. Yeah. I mean, look at he just broke the record, Campbell, well, that, eleven and all. The Saber teams in the past, they had goaltending. You had when Ryan Miller was here. Yeah, they were in the playoffs like every year. Yeah, and way back even when, I mean, when they were good, they yeah. had goalies. I mean, it was always it, it, they all do. You're not going to find a team mm-hmm. that they're like, yeah, the backup. He's gonna he's gonna bring us to the Stanley yeah. Cup. You know, it's not gonna he's, happen. He's a, he's a backup for a reason. Yeah, and it's like right. He, yeah. You're labeled. When you're a backup, you're labeled for your whole career as a backup. Yeah. No, you're right. And now let's go to a few more losers. Winnipeg. I thought they lost, but they're yeah. playing well. They're, See, that's the funny thing, though. They're losers, but they're winners because yeah. they're only three points out of first place behind yeah, Toronto. Been doing well this yeah. year. But they need a defenseman. Mm-hmm. And they got Jordy Ben, but, you know, they didn't do anything, mm-hmm. uh, Winnipeg. So I think what everyone looks at with the teams coming out of the north and all the teams. You haven't played the other. You can't. Who knows how Toronto would match up with Las Vegas yeah, exactly, or, yeah. or you know, Winnipeg to whoever. And um, so I think that's the thing they want. They, they thought they should get a little bigger and mm-hmm. tougher. Um, my other loser was Edmonton. Um, they got Kulikov, I believe. Yes, a defenseman, depth defenseman. But it seems they're as though still, they're still in the thick of it, though. They need a top six forward yeah. bad. You can't rely on McDavid and Drysital every night. You know, mm-hmm. it just doesn't. It won't work. It won't work that way. So yeah, because they don't have the, they just don't have the guys. I mean, yeah. R- Ryan Nugent Hopkins, never what we expect. I mean, he's a good player. A good player, but, but he, he was, they're expecting a lot more from him. I mean, definitely. I'm even surprised he's still there. I know. Mm-hmm. I am too. I'm surprised he's still there. That's why Taylor Hall really took all the abuse over there. Yeah. He, they they singled him out and he was mm-hmm. gone. Um. So. Although I saw he scored the other night for Boston. Yeah, that usually happens. I yeah. mean, he was never really a saber though. When no. you really think about it, he it was just. If you want to talk about a cup of coffee? Yeah. That was he was just passing through. Yeah, it, it was like, for less than sixty games. Yeah, not even. It's like yeah. forty games. Yeah. So so he wasn't even really a. Uh, he wasn't really ever a saber. No. I mean, what? Honestly, I know they 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 did hor. I thought it was a horrible trade. I thought they should have got more if you get that much for yeah. Manta. But whatever they got, they got because he was basically. Not even part of the team. No, it was almost like a. Yeah, it was it. It was like he was here on a loan or something. Yeah, it's like for a team like, that wasn't gonna. Make, yeah, it's weird. It's like, like he, he, he didn't want to be here from the beginning. It seemed like. Well, he knew they weren't gonna win, and that's the funny thing. Like it's weird to grab a guy for on a one year deal. Usually, that's for yeah. teams that you know how they do that to take a run at something, and then. And I'm, and I'm sure throughout the league they find out uh, Buffalo's not winning, so. Yeah, go there and take the money and run. And run. That's what he basically did. So, yeah, and the team was just messed up. I yeah. mean, it was so messed up with Kruger and the whole deal. I mean, it's just it was just messed up. And, and but anyways, uh, the last loser I have, and they're playing great. This is their team's playing great. They're going to be in the playoffs and they're contenders. Carolina. Yes. They um, are. they did nothing. 
and they need offense yeah, too. Yeah, and they're yeah. always in the thick of it. Yeah, yeah they're, every year they're they're a good team. So Brindamore's good. Yeah, you know that. What a good. He yeah, was a good player he, he's too. A good and heck what of a coach. Yeah, and he's really good. He's going to be available next year. Al Buffalo should be. Yeah, uh, him and Kevin Adams. They right. Yeah, they played close together. Friends. Quite, that would be see that's that would be great for the mm-hmm. for this organization to have a guy like him. You get a guy that's never been involved in Buffalo and Yeah. Right. And you know what else too? No he's, ties, you know what I mean? No ties yeah. to Buffalo and, and he's not an old I mean he's older, but he's not like he you know, like you're gonna bring in a Babcock or a yeah. Hitchcock or whatever you're gonna do. You know, he'd be great. Yeah. I mean that's people are gonna be you know, be fighting over him. Oh, for sure. So what do you think right now? Um Tampa <laughs> With Kucherov, I mean that team. The the, uh, I don't think anyone can beat them. Honestly, I, I don't know. Maybe Col- Colorado's awfully good. Yeah, they got a good fast team. Yeah. Uh, the Avs. I mean, Vasilevsky though is the yeah. best goalie in the world. I mean, he I, is I six just, seven. Like a you know, I don't know, man. I think Tampa Bay is going to be there again. I do too. I can't see how they're not going to win, especially adding Kucherov. I said that at the beginning of the year. I said Tampa's going to be there. Yeah. Probably could be facing Toronto. Well, that, that'd be kind of weird. It would be weird, yeah. Because and, and Toronto here in Buffalo. Yeah. If yeah. they don't open up that day, yeah. Because when the final four comes, the Leafs are going to play. Or whoever comes, Winnipeg. Whoever comes out of the North is going to be in Buffalo. Yeah. It's, well, no. If it's Winnipeg, they'll be in. I think they said they'll be in Minnesota. Minnesota, yeah. So you know, but if it's the Leafs, if it's they'll Toronto, be in Buffalo. They'll be playing the playoffs in Buffalo. So. Yeah. No, I'll try to go. Yeah. I imagine it'll be cheap, and yeah. no one will go. Yeah. Unless Sabre fans are going to go just to boo the Leafs, which yeah. I probably have. That would not surprise me yeah. one bit. I hope there's only 2,000 people yeah. there. That would be wonderful. I, I hope the governor makes sure. Yeah. <laughs> just for that, yeah. he just he decides. <laughs> but anyways. So, yeah, there's Kucherov. I mean, he is. Look at look at this guy. They're getting him for nothing. I mean, yeah. he, you know, and that's. that's and that, the team could have had him, too. It's like. Well, no, he was injured. Yeah, he's an yeah. Oh, way back when, but he way was back, yeah. yeah. He was an injured player that they were just waiting for, and they've played so well that they haven't even needed him. And I just saw though that someone who's been often injured, Stamkos, got hurt Stamkos, the other night. Yeah. So he's really, you know, he, he always he, reminded me of Tavares. He's got to be towards the end of his career, I think. Isn't so. that something that yeah. he's towards the end of his career? Yeah. Holy cow! I remember when he was the mm-hmm. next best thing, you know. Mm-hmm. The, the next great one. Yeah. Thing, so. Now there's been three more next great yeah. ones since. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Four or five at least. I Robin, mean. what do you think? Tampa? Do you think? Colorado? Las Vegas, I guess, is the other contender that's not in the north? Yeah. I mean, I, I definitely think that Tampa was a, a winner on uh, trade deadline day. Like you said, getting Kucherov for nothing and then trading for Savard and sharing up their defense. Um, if I had to guess, I would say that they'll be they'll be in it again. Well, you know what team will? Pr- I, I'm curious. Well, Boston's in the same shape as the Maple Leafs right now, goaltending wise. Mm. Those guys, you're not com- They can't be comfortable no, going no. in with them because no. you don't know what you're going to get. Jack Campbell goes 11 and 0. Goals against is 140. He broke Carey Price's record. Mm. And then this is what backups yeah. do. You know. Playoffs are totally different than the regular season, so. And you know what else happens in the playoffs? Uh, as you know, defense changes. Defense. All of a sudden, people aren't flying around. You know, no. you're not pinching in anymore. Mm. You're kind of a little bit nervous to do that stuff. That's my point on the Sabers. Mm. Oh, like yeah. you know, it, it, there's something there. You, you, it's meaningful hockey. Um, remember, if you have anything, go to the message board on the bottom here on Facebook. You can find us on YouTube and like us and share us and do all that stuff. Um, one more thing about hockey before we take a break. Uh, uh, we yes. have a comment okay. from Kyle Davis. All right. He said, Lukanen is Buffalo goalie. He isn't, the goalie isn't ready yet. Goalie of the future, yes. Yeah. Goalie of the future. Probably a couple years down. Yeah. A couple years down the road for him, I assume. Mm-hmm. I, uh, I, uh, I just think they need to go out. They, they, and they're going to be out there. The guys are going to be. Anderson's going to be there. Yeah, there's going to be a lot so, of goalies out there. Uh, Anderson will be there, and he's he's solid. Mm-hmm. He's I mean I wouldn't say he's spectacular. Unfortunately, well, he is spectacular. Where he has let the Leafs down is in Game Sevens. Yeah, for some reason in Game Sevens, there's always a weak goal goes there's in. A lot of pressure yeah. in Game Sevens, that's for sure. And uh, you know who else 
was good a little bit, and he'll be available as James Reimer. Um, when he was with the Leafs, mm-hmm. done well with Cal- Carolina. Oh, yeah. He'd be a good stopgap for the for the Sabers to have. Oh, yeah. Because you got to have guys. Because I, I imagine you're deflated when he. Well, I watched last night in the Leafs game. Toronto had a five on three power play. They were winning one nothing. They couldn't score on a five on three. How about this? You know how good the Maple yeah. Leafs are offensively. Do you know they're one for forty two in their last forty two power plays? That's, That's insane. Yeah. And um, but anyways, they 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 blow that. Here comes, and next thing you know, it with him giving up three straight goals that fast on seven shots, everyone's just, you know, mm-hmm. game's over. I mean, all the momentum is gone. But, um, yeah, anything yeah. else over there, Robin, that you, what do you got? John's brother Chris said, Tuca is back, don't poke the bear. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Tuca Rask. You know what? I'm not going there right now. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm not either because Tuca Rask is a nightmare. <laughs> Always has been for Buffalo and Toronto. Yeah, when the Leafs drafted him, he was considered the best goalie not in North America. Then they had Justin Pogge. How do you choose Justin Pogge? You know, I know I could not get over that one. <laughs> oh, and then they trade for, ask for Raycroft. Yeah. Oh, what a nightmare! It, They've never recovered. Oh, I haven't either. Yeah, because yeah, then they went to Toscala. <laughs> they did everything. It usually happens yeah. that way. It's like remember Toscala? Yeah, he let that oh, goal, yeah. and they showed it the other night from the red line. I know, I'm sorry, from the center ice. It went right in, and I, I that. that was I it for me. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it was all already it for me. Yeah. But anyways, well, why don't we? We're gonna take a. Uh, Oh, the fight, yes. Yes, all right. Let's bring... Thank you, Wade. Uh, Lucic and Sauerbrunn fight. This is this was Lucic's, Lucic's thousandth game. Yeah. And um, enjoy this fight. This is a good one. Yeah. Sauerbrunn gets a good shot. It, it busts him open. Um, it almost right like it was playing. Oh, it was. <laughs> yeah. oh, I, we'll, we'll discuss that in a minute. Um, but, you know, enjoy. It's a it's a good one. Uh, Lucic is, is huge. One of the best. Yeah. So the, it's like a big box. Yeah, I know. He's so big. And, and it's a good one here. So that's his thousandth game. He had a great assist, remember, on the opening goal. Yes. And he fights Sauerbrunn. He gets a little caught up. But anyways, I was listening to Sauerbrunn's um, interview after the game, and they said to him, uh, you know, you fought Lucic, and it was his night, thousand, thousand, thousandth game. And he said, yeah. He goes, I, uh, I thanked him for fighting me afterwards. And they were like, what do you mean? Why would you thank him? He said, well, I went up to him and said, hey, you want to fight? And Lucci said, yeah. And they were happy about it. And then at the end, he said, thank you. Yeah. He thanked that. Well, and I guess why? Because Sauerbrunn's never, you know, he's had many little oh. shots in the league. I remember when Matthews, he hit Matthews the one time when he was playing for Pittsburgh. And Matthews looked at his back because yeah. like, he said about his name, you know, basically saying you're well, a Rob, nobody. Rob Ray and Ty Domi used to nod at each other like, yeah. you want to go? And they used to go out to dinner, time. too, right? Yeah. Those guys went to dinner. Yeah. Think yeah, about that. went to dinner. After the games, and that was, you know what, that was old. That was like those days. Yeah, they usually don't allow that to happen. A lot of that's why. Remember, they dropped the gloves before the puck was dropped, and the referees did, or like they didn't know what to do. So then they made them put their gloves back on, and then the puck dropped, and they fought. Yeah, yeah, and then they're having a drink after the game. Yeah, Yeah. oh yeah, he was he was thanking him. He He said, "Thank you for fighting me." But anyways, why don't we go with a commercial, and then we'll be back in a moment. We're back. Thank you. Um, you know, let's let's turn our attention real quick. It's a, a little short segment on the NFL draft that's coming up. Okay. Um, you know, we have our show on draft night, which I can't wait. Uh, first pick. We're uh, maybe we'll go on probably about a half hour before, but the it starts at eight o'clock. 8 o'clock does yep. the actual draft? And um, 
you know, let, let's do a little mock draft, only for the t first 10 picks. And let's just see. I'm going to ask everyone around the room here. Wait, I don't know. You're, I know. You're probably, I didn't tell you. I'm sorry. Just react to the names. React to the names. All right. I should have told him. Why didn't I tell him? Someone's got to, Robin, please remind me. Sorry. You know. He's the boss man. I know. I, I know. Freaking CEO and I don't remind him. Anyhow, well, I'll get fired. I've been fired before. They got me at that other place. And I'm not talking about, I'm talking about WJJL. Uh, they shall remain nameless. Oh, no, I'm not getting it. Please. All right, let's go to the number one pick. Uh, Robin, who do you have? I don't think there's any doubt that it's Trevor Lawrence. Okay. Same for you. Trevor Lawrence, first pick. Wade? Yeah. Yeah, it's got to be Lawrence. All right, but wait a minute. One thing, there was a point where Justin Fields and Lawrence were in the same breath. There really were. Remember? Until Justin Fields lost oh, yeah. to Alabama. Yeah, that's right. true. Um, they were in the same kind of category. Mm -hmm. um, he w All right. Um, and, and that's no bias with Ohio State for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, right, just, no, just yeah, a little bit. Just oh. a little bit, right. All right, number two, Robin. I've got Zach Wilson from BYU. Same here. And I don't I know Zach. why. I think it's dumb. Yeah, it's I, dumb. It's going to suggest, right? Yeah, yeah. Suggest. I think I'm going with Fields at number two. I mean, I It'll think. He's smarter. I think he's the. I don't understand the Zach Wilson. Uh, maybe I'll be wrong, but I don't get it. I don't get the Zach Wilson. Although I will say this I know Ohio State quarterbacks. Like Alabama quarterbacks, never seem to be good in the NFL. I do know that. But the, the new Alabama style, and I'm not talking about Mac Jones, Tua and uh, Fields seem to have what the NFL wants now. Right. You know, you got to be able to be mobile. Mm -hmm. um, I sure do. I mean, that's why. Uh, in this day of age yeah. of the NFL. I didn't necessarily make that pick as what I would personally do, but more what I think the Jets the, are going to do. Yeah. Well. All right. Yeah, yeah, well, probably the Jets will do that. I mean, I, I don't know. I. Well, let's move on. Number three is the San Francisco 49ers, Robin. I've got Justin Fields going there from Ohio State. So, Are you watching my Yeah, <laughs> i got Justin Fields going there, too. Now, Wade. It's almost a consensus, you know. Yeah. 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 I had it. See, I had Trey Lance. Going there to the San Francisco. I got him going to Atlanta. See, I just thought that he's a. I don't know, <laughs> but that's how I. I'm. I have Zach Wilson falling. So okay, I go with uh, Lance, who I really like. Although he played, I know he played for North North Dakota. I know that they didn't have a season, mm -hmm. so because of COVID. But they did play in like spring. But he obviously not going to play. Why would he be playing now when he's going to yeah. be drafted? So uh, that's who I'm going with. Next up is the um, Atlanta Falcons. Robin? I have Trey Lance going to the Falcons. John? Same here. I <laughs> mean, Yeah, same there for Wade. For me, it's uh, Zach Wilson there. That's where I have Wilson going, um, to the uh, Atlanta Falcons. And he'll sit there behind, uh, still, with, uh, what's his name? Yeah. What's his name? Why Matt, am I Ryan. Matt Ryan. Yeah. Matt Ryan. He'll still be sitting there, there with him. Yeah. I mean, the Jets... <laughs> I mean, Jacksonville Lawrence is going to start mm -hmm. day one. Uh, the Jets, who's their quarterback? Who was it last year? Why can't I remember? Oh, it was Darnold, and he's gone. Yeah, yeah he's gone. He's gone. Darnold. S Darnold. So now that means whoever they take is going to be the starter right out of the gate, unless mm -hmm. there's something that I missed that they, they picked up. When you look at San Francisco, San Francisco's got a good team. They really do. Oh, That's yeah. a decent team. That's a, out, of the, out of the teams, I think, here in the top four, I, I like them the most. And, they got a uh, heck of an offense here. Yeah. So. so maybe Justin Fields. I hope he does go. Or on. Zach Wilson, Trey Lance. I mean, that's a good spot. Atlanta is weird, but they do have Julio Jones. I mean, older, but still. Yeah. You know, and, and you get to play inside, so that's always nice. If Justin Fields were to go there, he would he would be very quick. Obviously, you're quicker in, indoors. Um, but, you know, number five. This is an easier one than all the quarterbacks to me. Um, for the Cincinnati Bengals. Sure, I got. Oh, no, no, Robin, what do you got? I've got Penny Sewell, the offensive lineman from Oregon. Oh, I got Jamel, Jamar Chase from mm. LSU, wide receiver. All right. Because I, I think they need some receiving help there. Yeah, they got T. Higgins mm. there too. Mm. Is he Alabama receiver. L LSU. 
Yes, LSU, Devonta Smith. Yeah. And who's the other one? I got Alabama receivers are Don- Dylan Waddle and uh, Devonte Smith. Yeah. yeah. What would you do? I mean, think about just like, even position wise, because I know Cincinnati, Joe Burrow. He was outstanding before he got hurt. I mean, he was really, really good. And uh, who's the running game? Well, it's not Giovanni Bernard anymore. No, they just no, got rid of him. Just got rid of him. Is Joe Mixon ever going to play again? He was He's supposed to be one, the guy. Only guy right there. They got yeah. still left. Yeah, unless they'd have to do something else. Yeah. But Mixon, if he stays healthy, he's decent. But they're comparing Chase to like AJ Green, that type of speed. Yeah. So, oh, I know. Yeah. yeah. Um, what would you do? Why, wide receiver? They have T. Higgins, who was a good draft pick last year from LSU. Um, I where do you go? Would keep uh, their <clears throat> your, if you're a team looking to really build like the Bengals right right now. We got that young quarterback. Um, you trade down. You yeah. trade down and you uh, get a couple, you get another second or third, and then you build. You build. Yeah, because they got the quarter. The quarterback's all. He's. Yeah, you're running back in the third round and another good running back yeah. in the third round and fix up that offensive line. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to have to go with Panay Sewell also, offensive tackle, because of just, you know, they couldn't protect Burrow last year and it got knocked out. So you don't want him knocked out anymore. That's what I think. But anyhow, let's go to number six, and this is the Miami Dolphins. Yes. Robin? I went out on a little bit of a limb here. I mean, this is a guy that I think has top ten consideration. I don't know that he'll necessarily go to the Dolphins, but Kyle Pitts, the tight end from Florida, is who I've got going here. Yeah, he's good. I know the Dol- the, the Cowboy. He may go ten. He's, he's if he the doesn't only go offensive tight end that I think is worth it. There's some some block good blocking tight yeah. ends in the draft. He's, but as far as an offensive one, if you want one, he's they it. guess what they um, were comparing him to Calvin Johnson. Yeah, and Calvin Johnson wasn't a tight end, but they were right. but but Calvin Johnson was big enough to be a tight end. And that's why I picked um, him above my top receiver. He won't make it past Dallas, I bet. Yeah. That's how I feel with that guy, um, right. because they love him. Jerry yeah. Jones loves him. Who do you got? I got uh, Devontae Smith, wide receiver out of Alabama. Oh, I like Miami. him a lot. Yeah. I like him. I like him a lot. Now, Miami, let's think about... they got to up the receiving core there. Well, let's think. they got two, of course. Um, they've got... Who's their, who's their running backs? Why am I forgetting? I'm drawing a blank. Darn it. Um, well, someone will help me. Kyle's in there. He can he can tell me. Oh, I'm, I'm forgetting yeah, me who the too. running backs are. You know, I always think Kenyon Drake, but he's not. He hasn't been there for a little while. Right. Um. Anyways, okay. I think they're. For me, I had Jamar Chase at wide from LSU going to the Dolphins. Um. They're a good team, John. Mm-hmm. They really oh, are. Oh, they're, they're a good team. Quickly. They are they're, fast yeah, rebuild. You know. And that doesn't happen that often. I no. mean, they did it like within two years. I mean, yeah. yeah, they really they were they were uh, very quick to get back into it because right now they're I think they're a playoff team mm-hmm. this year. I think they are too. So, all right, let's go to number seven, and uh, it's the Detroit Lions with new quarterback um, uh, Goff. Jared Goff is there. Robin, I've got Jamar Chase from LSU, the wide receiver, going there. All right, I got uh, Kyle Pitts, the tight end from Florida, going there. So that would be interesting. Yeah. Um, Goff, you didn't like that trade, remember that I whole trade? It. Yeah, I know you hated that whole thing, right? Mm-hmm. The the Stafford and yeah, it was it was a bit bizarre. Yeah, yeah. It's still it's still it's still kind of weird. Yeah, yeah. that they just flip flopped and and Stafford's I like Stafford's been here forever and Detroit. Yeah. Right. And Goff, I don't know if Goff's they're, overrated. They're, I don't they're know. Making it like he's gonna. Yeah, he's going to go could, off this year. Yeah, go off or something. Yeah, yeah, Stafford. I don't know. Well, for me, I have the um, number seven Lions getting the uh, Alabama wide receiver Devonta Smith, who mm-hmm. I I really really like. I mean, I I, I actually think I might like uh, Jamar Chase, Devonta Smith. I yeah. think you're good either way you go. Flip a coin. Um, number eight is Carolina. Robin, who do you have? I have Devonta Smith going there. Okay, so so far, all right. Devontae Smith is now going all offensive players, right? Mm-hmm. In your top eight? Uh, my top eight, yes. Mm-hmm. John? I got Pencil Sewell offensive lineman going to Carolina. Carol- okay. For mm-hmm. me, I'm going to. 6'6, 330. Yeah, so he's, he's, re- he's a big boy. He's the 
If you want, a, if you want mm-hmm. one, you you yeah. get them. Yeah, that's the guy. He's yeah. For me, I like uh, my first. I'm gonna go defense with uh, Caleb Farley from Virginia Tech, defensive back to Carolina. Mm-hmm. Um, Carolina guys, who? Let's think about them. Their quarterback now is Sam Darnold, right? Yes. Um, they're a weird team, right? Yeah. I mean, they're kind of a middle. I wouldn't say they're bottomed out. They might need to in a way, but but they got darn old now. They could have a surprise team. I mean, they going, could too. Yeah, he's going out to warmer weather and yeah. Sometimes none of the Jets anymore. None of the Jets. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, that, that's helpful. And the I didn't yeah. want to go there, but <laughs> yeah. No. Well. All right, let's move on to number nine, and uh, that is Robin Denver. What do you have? Mac Jones, the quarterback from Alabama. Yeah, they need a quarterback, and John Elway has not been able to find one, surprisingly. Um, John, what do you got Denver doing? I got them going with the wide receiver, Jalen Waddle from Alabama. Good one. Nice mm-hmm. pick for them. They still have, uh, oh, God, quarterback. Tell me his name. I'm forgetting him. The young. Drew Lock. Lock. Yes. Yes. Drew Lock. Yes. Lock. Yeah. And he's, uh, I don't know. He's got a heck of an arm, too. Yeah. yeah. The, the, he's got a lot of Jay Cutler in him, I think. But no, I think I think he does. He's got a lot of... Uh, there's something quirky about him that I can't put my, mm-hmm. my finger on when I watch him, you know? Um, I hate this pick, but I, I think Denver's going to... Uh, here, I am doing this as I am sitting there as Denver. It's Mac Jones. And, um, you know, I just go in the same... As I do with Ohio State quarterbacks, I, I understand uh, they generally don't do well. Alabama quarterbacks haven't done well since Namath. I mean, unless Tua's going to do something. Mm. And Mac Jones, to me, I, I, yeah, tell That's me I'm reach. wrong. I don't uh, know. I yeah, a That's a reach for that. I, I mean, he looks good. Don't get me wrong. Maybe he should, I don't know, I, man. I, I heard he's high, high on New England's list. I could see yeah. that maybe as he's falling, sure, mm-hmm. and he could sit underneath Cam for a little. Yeah, and uh, and you know, I mean, he's a big kid. I think he's kind of, sort of mobile, but they say his hell, he's not in good shape. Um, That's why uh, you. Yeah. Uh, I'm hoping Belichick is as smart as he's always been, and um, I would I wouldn't mind trading down again this year. But it's Jamie Newman going in the third. You're right, round right. You're Wake Forest. Well, what if he goes mm-hmm. up and gets Justin Fields? I've seen that a ton of times. Haven't you seen that? I've seen New England somehow getting yeah. in there. With, and I don't know how people do mock drafts where they mock trade. That's a tough one. You ever see those? Oh, they yeah. drive me nuts. Like Mel Kuyper? Yeah, well. Oh, <laughs> on draft day, I'm getting that video when Mel Kuyper fought with, uh, remember? Oh, yeah, with, I remember. Uh, yeah, yeah, I yeah, love yeah, that. Yeah, Why can't remember? It was best. not Polian. Who was? Tobin. Uh, for for the yeah, uh, Colts, I said, "Who's who?" You yeah, who the who hell is? Well, because Kuiper pretty much said, "The it, this is the worst yeah. ever." That's why they stink. He said it right out. It was great. And then the guy, he had a he had a scotch in his hand yeah. too. That's even funnier. The uh, when he's talking and he almost spit it out. The, the general manager um, of the Colts. All right, number ten is the Dallas Cowboys, who aren't they're pro- they're close to being a you know obviously. What hurt them last year was Dak going down. Mm-hmm. So Dallas at 10 is nice for Dallas, you know, considering yeah. they got a decent team around them. Yeah. They still got wide receivers. They got they got Ezekiel Elliott. Robin, what are they doing? I've got my uh, first defensive player going. I've got Patrick Sertain, the second, the cor- cornerback from Alabama. John? Well, I'm going defense with a cornerback for Dallas, uh, J. Lee Horn from South Carolina. Oh, and that's, that's Joe, Joe Horn's son. Yeah. Yes. Remember when Joe Horn with the with the phone, that yes. stupid thing yeah. where he put he hid the phone and to make the phone yeah. call. Anyways, a lot of, uh, sons. Sons. Of sons. Former yeah. Players, especially at the corner. Certain. Yeah. Yeah. Would you say who's the other guy? A Sam. A Sam. Sam- Samuel. Mm-hmm. Yes. He's high on Buffalo's radar. Yeah. Wade. Um. Am I the only person that the thinks Cowboys. like Prescott ain't Dak? Good. <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah, I I like them. What's wrong? What do you think? I don't know, man. I'm just not a. Um, the injury is going to be tough. Let's see yeah. how he responds. It's a brutal injury. I, I don't see the leadership. I don't know. I don't see the leadership no? needed nah. in the quarterback position. I do. I, well, it's going to be interesting to see how he comes back. Yeah. Like I said, that's a brutal injury. I do have Patrick Sertain also the corner going to Dallas, but I think I could. 
if Pitts is there, I bet you, I think Jerry Jones is taking him. Yeah. I do think, because he's talked so much about him. And when you compare him mm-hmm. to Calvin Johnson, that's incredible. I mean, that guy, Megatron, for a short period of time was just dominant, right? I mean, he was oh, yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, and now it's funny, ever since him, <clears throat> it feels like everyone got as big as him. Isn't that funny? Because at that time, he seemed dominant because of his size. Right. And now all of a sudden, here comes everyone. Out of the woodwork, uh, Julio Jones, all these big wide receivers, and, and more on the way. So that is our top ten um, you know, little okay. mock for the people as we uh, continue. Robin is doing a lot of work for us, John, because mm-hmm. on draft day, when we have names and things, she's going to have all the... the yeah, uh, she's got like a... She's got all of it. She's, she's got, got what book. we need. <laughs> she, no, she's got, the, she's got the... She'll have the height, weight. She'll have w- what their strengths, weaknesses, the whole deal. So we'll be able to break it down as mm-hmm. it happens um, live for everyone. Yep. So that'll be outstanding. I can't wait. Well, let's go to something. We're going to switch gears to baseball now. And, um, you know, here's the question, guys. Uh, and Robin... Sorry. You're, you're not offended by me saying guys, right? Yeah. I didn't think so. Yeah. Um, the New York Yankees are 5-7, and seven, and uh, they're not fun to watch. No. We talked that the Sabres are fun to watch. The Yankees are the opposite of fun right now. They can't drive in a run if their life depended on it. You know, if it's a home run or nothing, mm-hmm. as yeah. usual. I don't know what... For an awfully long yeah. time. I mean, that's not something... No. Not just this season. year. No, yeah. it's not. And... Uh, but you'd think eventually they would want to fix it. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what their deal is. I don't know what's going to happen like tonight. Yeah. So, Tampa again. And yeah. Tampa has their number. And we were watching. This was the last against the, the Jays. The Jays buried them. Yeah. This, and, and and that's the, the problem is the Yankees have felt stale since 2009. There's that feeling. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Mm-hmm. Even when you injected um, Judge into this. As we said before, he's the not his fault. He's been overrated by the by ESPN, yeah. by Yes Network, by the Yankees themselves, and I mean the Yankees PR. Right. You know. I, I don't think he's. I don't think he's captain material. I don't huh? think he's a, a, a leader. Um, yeah. I think they were trying to make him the replacement to Derek Jeter, and I just don't think he's it. Yeah. Yeah. You know. But the problem is, too, when you're captain, unless you're on a really sorry, I mean, you also have to be clutch. You know what right. I mean? And yeah, that's, that's the biggest problem mm-hmm. I see. I mean, he's batting too many No, I know. he's, But he can't throw. Do you notice the other day he threw the ball and he just threw it as if, and he, he doesn't want to get hurt. Right. He's throwing, or he yeah, is he hurt. Actually, he actually said that Like, he lobbed it in. Yes, he yeah. lobbed it in. Look at Bachette. Dante Bichette's son. Yeah. And for the Blue Jays, wow! This kid hitting mm-hmm. opposite field home runs, hit the opposite field home run to win the game. Yeah, um, like it's no big deal, yeah. too. Judge actually said they, they said on the Yes Network the Judge had said because um, if you remember there was a game it was one of the very first Yankee games and he pulled up on a ball that was going towards right. the wall and rather than making the catch and flipping into the stands or whatever or running into the wall he let the ball fall and let it become a double and they said that he he specifically said that he was going to make less but, plays that affected but, his body. All right, so but could you, him? could you blame him? Could you blame him? Yeah, he should. He has to. What, how many times is he going to play eighty games in one hundred sixty-two? How many times is he, this guy can't make one forty? He has to. Uh, how about? Well, because that's what the Yankees yeah. want. That's what they want because they let these guys in the off season train like they're ready for the. A powerlifting competition. Yeah, and they're, and so they get banged up in, before the season starts. Yeah. It's like I mean, look at this. I mean, it's just there. It is. The ball got misplayed. It went through his legs and went to all the way to the wall. And luckily, the the Jays. You know, I see what they yeah. did there. They got himself in the in that and in, in the rundown and. Uh, but Dante Bichette, how about Bijo's kid? Oh yeah. yeah, wow. And of course Vlad. You know, like you know, like when they say teams report pitchers and catchers in yeah. February, they're 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 in December and January right. working out. This so. the one bright side I'll say for the Yankees is that Gary Sanchez is hitting two sixty-five. Yeah, but he can't catch. Well, pass ball and. I, 
He needs to play something else. Yeah. Well, they know it. Get him the hell off of first base. Yeah, or, or just DH. But you got a DH yeah. in Stanton, right. who also can't stay healthy. And, but Stanton's batting 175. Well, that's so. that's good. Maybe that maybe that's good, and maybe he'll maybe that means he'll do better as the season goes on because the guy. They did a good favor for Derek Jeter taking him off their hands. The best um, player on that team is DJ Lemayhew, and he's struggling. Yeah, yeah he's batting two ninety five. Yeah. He's struggling. I know yeah. it's early yet, yeah. but they they got to pick it up pretty soon. I mean, yeah, it gets sure. early fast. Yeah, you know, it get, or what would you say? It gets late early. You know, late early, sometimes, yeah. especially when you're playing in your own division. Oh yeah, you their pitching stinks. Yeah, I mean, like Cole. their pitching stinks yeah. right now. I mean, Cole. By the All Star yeah. break, you gotta be letting people know what you're gonna be. Yeah, yeah. Tonight, mm-hmm. Nick Nielsen is pitching for the Yankees. Are they doing a bullpen game? Probably. Yeah. So yeah. we're gonna go through that, which yeah. I hate oh, yeah. more than anything in my. I can't stand the, the what the the Rays started. That. I don't know. Yeah. You yeah. know, it's a trickle down effect. It's like remember mm-hmm. when starting pitchers used to pitch complete games like yeah. there was nothing, well, or, yeah. or they would just go to a closer. There was no seventh inning. Then I'm set so up, I'm so closer. tired of guys being taken out in the sixth inning. Yeah, yeah. Fifth, and they're yeah. doing good. And they have this whole formula of well, this guy. Oh, that's your seventh. A couple weeks ago, to, like guy. the Mets, the Mets that's took the Gram out. Yeah, I know. Yeah. He was and he was pitching great, right. and then they lose the game. It's like yeah. you know what are you doing? You know what the to me, it's not little league. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. You, you know what to me about the Yankees' problem, let alone that they're other than, other than, uh, cl- other than um, Cole, the rest of the team's ERA is uh, north of six. Wow, so that's tough. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. tough. And um, here's my other problem with the Yankees a little bit. And I'm a Yankees fan, a long time. Um, but why in the world do you go get Jay Bruce when you had Mike Ford? Yeah. Mike Ford looked good to me. Yeah. I mean, why wouldn't you use Mike Ford? I mean, it doesn't make any sense. And, and Bruce that, has been on how many teams? Oh, Five or yeah. six, mm-hmm. if not right. more. It's like, and then you there's got, a reason for that. It's mm-hmm. like, and you get Rufnet Odor when you had the other guy, Estrada. I mean, if you don't I, believe in your in your prospects, then yeah. why did you hold them and not do anything, yeah. move them? Move them so they But they held move. them. Yeah. yeah. I think they made give, a mistake when they got rid of Gregorius. Oh, yeah, because yeah. Because he was the best shortstop yeah. that they've had. They don't have a shortstop now. Since Jeter. And, yeah, Do you know that? everybody's mm. out of position. They don't have a shortstop, John. Mm. They've nope. got Torres playing nope. short, but he's a second Ursha, baseman. Yeah. Urshela played it the other day. And you see how yeah. good he's doing on the Phillies right now. He's doing, oh, yeah. He's, they yeah. love right. over there. Yeah, and right. he was a good character mm-hmm. player too he was a, you know he was good in the clubhouse too mm-hmm. i'm going to ask you though how could they have known nick labor torres was going to be able to play shortstop he he played second the cubs but that was his thing in the minor leagues that was his that's was torres's thing yeah was to be a shortstop yeah you know and uh, you just can't move guys around different positions yeah that's, all the time that's every sport lemayhew should be playing second yeah but instead right. he's playing third he's playing first or Ur- Ur- urshel is playing short he's playing third and uh geez second base who knows what's going to happen uh clint frazier again has ch- not yeah. produced even though they gave him the uh, job it, it works on a ball player like it's a mindset you're at one position that you've known your whole life yeah and yeah. you got to be moved it's like it's like you're starting over again right basically. i mean their outfield is judge and right field mm-hmm. gardner's going to be playing left i guess more often than frazier mm-hmm. and hicks and talkman now i don't mind talkman I actually don't mind Hicks. I mean, I like Hicks. Yeah, I like Hicks. no problem with him. I mean, second base, you, you don't know what's going to happen. I mean, that's what I'm saying. It's it's a for a team with all the ability the Yankees have to spend money or to be at that topper, you know, with the Dodgers. Yes, this is pathetic to right. me. You know, but then you'll watch the Blue Jays and you'll watch Tampa and you'll watch these other guys, other teams. You know, the produce. Yankees. Keep playing the way they're playing. Uh, the the Blue Jays could be the team to watch. Yeah, yeah. them in Tampa. Mm-hmm. I agree. There's no guarantee the Yankees make the playoffs this yeah, year. I know it's only 12 games, yeah. but there's no guarantees anymore with this no. team. I think people better better realize mm-hmm. it was 2009 last time they won. Yeah, yeah. and it's, it's uh, not an automatic anymore. No, there's no Jeters coming through that door. Mm-hmm. Posadas, A Rods, no, they're not coming. Like no. you know, like the Red Sox, they won nine in a row. Look at them. I mean, yeah. 
The center. Ooh, yeah. Oh, did you see JD Drew the other night? Three yeah. home runs. He yeah. made a he made a triumphant return. Yeah. yeah. Um. But anyways, that is our little Yankees talk. Now, before we get on to our picks, what I wanted to ask you guys and all of you, um, and Wade, the pitcher's mound has been sixty feet six inches they want to move since back. 1893 mm-hmm. they want to go 61 feet six inches now i think it's terrible yeah. mistake because yeah. first of all you're gonna to have to do that everywhere everywhere not just major league baseball mm-hmm. every single place i'm not saying that's that hard but every single place you yeah. have to do it um they baby these pitchers not just in uh, major league baseball college high school they, they baby him now and yeah. you're gonna guys are gonna be throwing their arms out yeah i mean one foot is a foot it's a big deal yeah yeah it's a real big deal now i know that you know guy i've never seen this and and i'm sure everyone you guys will real remember if you threw 95 that was fat that was a big deal if yeah. you touched 100 it was something you wanted it was must see oh yeah the other day must see action That's all of a sudden sure. third inning starter 101 Holy cow, he just threw 101. That would be something yeah. where 104. I, mean, I remember being a kid watching, and there'd be like one or two guys in the league who could touch 100. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and it wasn't guaranteed that, that they were going to do it every time they were in the yeah. game. I mean, it was something special to see. Mm-hmm. Now it's just like, okay. It's you no know, big like, deal I, now. Yeah, it's it. Starters just stuff. are. But it, the funny thing is, it always was a reliever that could bring it up that high. Yes. Other than maybe, I mean, towards the end here, Verlander was always good, hitting 99 in, in the eighth inning. I always found that incredible with him, right. where you know he would he would be conserving himself to the end. But um, no, I, I I think it's going to be a tough one. I mean, I don't, I don't even understand why doing it. It, it just it's terrible. All these little tweaks that they're trying to yeah. make, I don't like them. I don't uh, like them either. I don't either. like the second base deal. No, yeah, that's tough. That that's awful. the worst. That's... I could see doing that maybe if the game goes into no. 12, yeah. 13 innings, if you absolutely yeah. have to. Because Why would you do that? They have this, this Tell me you don't like to sit there and watch an 18-inning game. I do. Yeah, I do. That's extra baseball. Yeah. It's a whole extra that's game. Great. For We're, some reason, no one wants I, it. And I, and I think... It must be the younger generation wants a faster. I don't think prod- maybe they should go talk prod- to the young. Maybe they should go talk to the younger generation that actually plays the game. Yeah. Yeah. That actually plays baseball. Right. Yeah, I bet you they don't want it. Right. They don't want this to become softball. Mm. Right. You know, it's not supposed to be bar league like, softball. Like us old guys, we yeah. love that the old style. I yeah. Mean, and I think the player, I think people that actually play the game well, would too. Wasn't there a game last year that went to like four in the morning? I love went. it. Yeah. We went to a game one time that went seventeen innings mm-hmm. in, in Cleveland. I loved it. We paid for the ticket. I saw two games. Yeah. I mean, that was outstanding. I don't see how anyone... I don't know. There's certain things about baseball. There's certain things about hockey, about all football, all the sports. It's all sports right yeah. now. Yeah. And baseball is the one yeah. that you... There's no There's no clock. There's no time clock. So you just are there. If you can't do it, then you don't do it. Yeah. You know, it's there's no... And that's the nice yeah. thing about baseball. There is no time. Right. You want to go with how many pitches you get, throw out, throw out the guy at first base. I mean, right. yeah, all of it. I just, it's like, yeah, it's tough. It's tough, and I don't know. I hate to sound like an old man, but I don't understand if these tweaks are really going to do anything for anyone, anyways. Like, it's not right. going to bring in more fans. No, um, to the, to no, if you launch want baseball. The shortened, then you're really not a fan of. How about? Double headers or seven innings. Come on, I, know. I hate that. Yeah. That's like the that's like triple A. Yeah, I can't I can't stand that. And that's not going to stop either. No. I thought it was just COVID. No, it's going to be there for wow. forever now. And do you think in the playoffs they're going to are they doing this in the playoffs? They're going to put a guy on second base. Can you imagine? Think of those great moments in Major League Baseball history. You know, Carlton Fisk, yeah. uh, even Jeter. Some of those home runs. Some of the stuff you've seen through the yeah. years. You're gonna have a guy on second. You would have killed it. Oh yeah, Aaron Boone. Yeah. Oh jeez. Against the Red Sox, you would have destroyed a lot of uh, a lot of memories. A lot of mm-hmm. good, you know, things that have happened. I mean, I thought replay even in some sports. I mean, football. The immaculate reception probably yeah. doesn't even happen. No, right. not at all. You know? um, so certain things. I can adjust, but man, you you start you you're monkeying around with the real like fabric of the of yeah, the there, game. You, know? you don't you don't touch. You just leave it the way it's been forever. Just leave it alone. How about what Major League Baseball should do is try to promote their players a little more. How yeah. about you maybe get games on national TV again? Do that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, you can't quicken it. I don't know what you can do. Mike Trout's never been in the playoffs. He's one of the greatest players in the game right now. And more people know 
Judge than Trout, and Trout's twenty times the ball player mm-hmm. that you know that uh, they, Judge is. Remember they used to have the Saturday game of the week. It was great. Yeah, because yeah. I would bring that back. I didn't care who was on, but you'd watch it. Yeah. Sure. Um, now I know kids don't aren't the same as we were because they have too much. They have, and if I if I had all that too, I'd probably I might have been the same way. But there are kids. I mean, it's tough here in Western New York because baseball, baseball mm-hmm. with the with the way the weather is, it's yeah. tough here. I mean, look at what's going on outside today. If you look outside, you, mm. there should be baseball being played. Yeah. In this what right now they're playing in the south and oh, t- you know exactly west. I mean. So those are the kids you want to go talk to. Those are the ones you should be placating to. You know, we're up here. We're talking football. Yeah, basketball. I mean, because because of the weather. Hockey. You know. The weather has completely made. I, you guys all remember if you played in high school, playing in the gym, oh, yeah. having to get ready in your in a gym is terrible. Yeah, you know, and are playing in this kind of conditions. So uh, yeah, I hope baseball decides to um, that they won't though. They won't. No, you got a horrible you got a horrible commissioner in yeah. Manfred. Yeah, and he's, he's uh, got to be the worst they ever had. Yeah, yeah. he's killing the game. Well, that's my, my opinion. So yeah, no, it's not good. Mm-hmm. It's not good to mess with. With the because then it, it all of a sudden isn't yeah. what it is anymore, right? You know, you've yeah, changed like, it. Like when something's sketched in stone, you leave it alone. That's the mm-hmm. way I look at it. So, yeah, all right. Now, unfortunately, I'm one and two against the spread. Um, Robin and John are two and one against the spread, so there we are. Um, Robin, I'll let you uh give your three selections for the weekend. All right, all three of mine are for tomorrow's NHL lineup. I've got Florida plus 140 over Tampa, Detroit at plus 138 over Chicago, and Edmonton minus 108 over Winnipeg. John? Okay, I got three picks, uh, one for each day. Tonight I got the Islanders over Boston, money line. Washington over the Flyers on Saturday. And I got Buffalo over Pittsburgh on Sunday. All right. My picks are from uh, all tonight. They're all for tonight's games. Um, In the NBA, I got the Raptors minus two against Orlando. Um, Actually, no, I'm sorry. I only got, I got, yeah, they're all tonight. Tampa plus 140 over the Yankees tonight. Waka against Nielsen. And I've got the Padres plus 125 uh, over the Dodgers. It's Bueller against Weathers. So there they are, and I really need to get moving and win yeah. and sweep the board you gotta tonight. Sweep. Yeah, yeah. I, I need a sweep. You gotta step it up a little. Bit yeah, there. I know. I, I, you know what? But don't, don't ever take these, these plays and ever use them because you'll be, you'll probably be sad. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. If but you if make you, money. If you pay attention to pitching, Major League Baseball can. Um, it can be fruitful. Yeah. yeah, it can make you some money. You know what else you can do? You know what I used to do a long time ago? They used to give out free picks. In the in the New York Post, I don't know if they still do. The guy's name was I can't remember what his name was Hondo or something. I don't know. We used to I used to monitor the picks, the free pick, and if he would win <laughs> seven in a row, you know, you just start picking yeah. against him because right. eventually it's this guy's gonna lose. I mean, how's yeah. he gonna keep winning? Anyways, that's just a little way to against the spread when you don't know what else to do and you're you know and you're losing. Anyhow, well guys, we have hit the uh, mark where it's time to to take off. No for picked. Friday, yeah, another fast does. hour. Yep, another fast oh. hour. Don't remember every. Don't forget, <laughs> and don't remember. Don't forget, um, Gorilla Zinc. You know, great studio here. Yes, everything you could need for advertising. You want to do a podcast? You want to do whatever? Contact us on the site. Um, great shows, great programming, and uh, great boss. Oh yeah, our guy back there, Wade. And we will be back next week. And I hope everyone enjoys themselves. Have a good weekend, everybody. Good night now. Good night.